Hi, this is Lars Fenanger, and we're with Inside Tribe TV. Today we're joined by Todd Carver and uh, Cliff Sims. Thanks for joining us, guys. No problem. Thanks. And uh, these guys are with a revolutionary fit system called Retool. That's right. Did I pronounce that right? Yep. You guys are a Colorado-based company. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long have you been around for? Well, really just getting started within the year, um, unveiling new 3D motion capture fitting system called Retool. Uh, the first application we're hitting up is the bike application where we're we're measuring cyclists while they're spinning so it's dynamic 3d fitting and uh, you guys were just in town while working with uh, the Chipotle slipstream yeah. pro tour bicycling team last week they were in town uh, the whole team was what were you guys working on with them exactly we were fitting them to their old bikes and transitioning their positions to the new bikes so some of the members on the team are new and um, we were simply recording baseline measurements of them on all their bikes then a few of the individuals we actually did full fits on. People who haven't been fit before, people who are having current problems. Some of the names that you were throwing out yeah. to guys who hadn't been fit is... Tom Danielson. I mean, it's really odd that someone at that level has never had a true bike fit. So there were people on the team that we did full fits for. And you're not just bike only. You have fit pro at, um, Craig Alexander, who was second in Kona, and then also mm -hmm. fourth at Clearwater. So, yeah. Yeah. so the, the triathlon and TT fittings are also part of the mm -hmm. part of the fit system for sure yeah th this system's actually really really good at recording the arrow, arrow position because it is a full body marker set where um, well, some of the other systems out there are not full body okay well today um, today Todd and Cliff are gonna work with um, a triathlete Emily Fenanger and she's going to uh, be on her tri bike and we're gonna go through a fit system you, you guys are gonna walk us through what sure. goes in uh, the nitty-gritty uh, the scientific terms that go behind it. Cliff, you're the science man. Todd's the fit man. Um, I know I butchered your job titles right there, but That's great. it's good enough for for, uh, for the dummy down tri geeks, right? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's take her away. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. So what's happening now is Todd is going to put these adhesive Velcro dots on the major joints of the body. We have, like Todd said earlier, we have a full body harness. So we will actually record data on this side of the rider in real time. Um, but high speed acquisition while she is actually spinning. So uh, muscles are firing, joints are loaded, she's in her true riding position. We're going to take that data and we can record it and analyze it. We'll get a bunch of reports and basically make adjustments off that. This is a 3D motion digitizer. It's actually truly 3D. So if her knee is going in and out towards and away from the sensor here, what you, you will, will actually pick up that data while she's spinning. It's a line of sight based system. Each one of these markers on the harness that he's putting on her right now is actually flashes infrared light. And so when each one of these flashes, the system knows where it is, it knows what it is, so it knows it's the hip marker, for example, and it will record that information. And we'll start to then, the, the computer does all these um, measurements. It comes out with angles, offsets, distances, all averaged and while the rider is right is actually spinning on the bike. Typically take about a 15 second recording and in that time we'll take about 270 full sets of body measurements. So there's a lot of data. I think with Emily she's having some hip problems right now so we're mainly going to be concerned with saddle and handlebar position here. Um, we don't want to close her up too much at the hip. I can already see with my naked eye that she is a little bit closed up at the hip. Um, but what we want to do now is get some joint angle measurements off of our body so we know where to put her saddle and her handlebars. What the data is showing us is that her saddle is low and too, too low and too far forward, and her torso angle is a little bit too low to the horizon for her back and hip problems. Her torso angle is measuring at 20 degrees. Um, a rider like this, we would want to see closer to 25 degrees. Her knee angle at the bottom of the pedal stroke, as she sweeps through the bottom of the pedal stroke, is measuring 40 degrees. So her saddle's a little bit, either it's too low or it's too far forward. Um, we know it's too far forward because we're measuring how far her knee is in front of the pedal spindle throughout the whole pedal stroke. And um, that's what's telling us that we really have to start moving the saddle back a little bit. And then we have to start raising these elbow pads up 
to get our torso angle up to 25 degrees. I'm thinking we got to move the saddle back a centimeter and raise the bars a centimeter, and that should hit 25. We got to open you up a little bit.